All right. Oh. Hey everyone, welcome back to my workbench. Been kind of a busy last few days. It's been three days since I've been down my workshop, so I really haven't been able to get anything done. But since I finally got down here, I decided it was time to actually crack open the CDX. So with the Nomad, I did talk to the very nice gentleman who uh, came up with the controller one mod so he gave me some pointers I need to rewire that port uh, and I also bought a authentic uh, retro bit Sega genuine Se uh, Sega part uh, controller because these hyperkin ones might be causing a problem so I'll eliminate that too so I'm gonna be wiring that up uh, next couple of days but I did want to go ahead and um, Let's show the CDX. This is the first time I've actually seen a uh, Genesis CDX. Um, the, it was sent for cap replacement and an uh, optical pickup replacement as well. And that's going to require a bit of adjustments. Uh, one thing I did notice was the uh, video quality right now. Let me Pop the audio on a second. The video quality seems a little bit uh, shaky right now. I don't know what's going on there. Hopefully I replace the caps. Uh, I don't know if it's because I ran off of composite or if it's just an issue with the caps. And I did notice that um, I actually went to Try to fire. I don't know if these are actual games in here. If they, oh, this one's actually spinning up this time. Checking discs. So it's spinning. Access. Oh, okay. It worked on this one. The other disc didn't work. This one worked. Uh, let's see. What is this? Lots of wavy lines. Oof. I don't like that. Oh, I forgot. Just how slow one X C D ROMs are. Maybe it's a two X, but who knows? Well ah, there it goes. Good. Bad, slow. It's the very first time I've tried this. So, and the disc is slowly it's turning. It looks like it's turning only at one X by the look of it. I guess there's a reason it was sent to me. Hmm. Well, Clint, it looks like I have my job cut out for me. I don't know if they're supposed to be this slow or if it's jacked up. Don't oh, Anyway. So the Genesis part of it works just fine. It's just my test cartridge just used Castle of Illusion. Try it out. Hmm. So let's take a look at it. Go back to my other screen. Beat that. So I'll have an authentic retro bit controller here on Saturday, I think, and then I'll I'll have the hopefully have that wired up by now, by then. First time I closed it, I didn't want to latch, but it did latch this time. Let's take a look at the transport. Okay. Yeah, that's just the the uh, optical pickup. We'll go in and replace that. Well, that should be fun. 
And I know there's a bunch of variable uh, capacitors in there that need to be set to. I've seen some YouTube videos on that. Let's see what you're made of. Let's see what we got. It's oh, interesting. It's steel. If you need help, read your owner's manual thoroughly. I wonder if I call USA Sega if they still answer. Somehow I doubt it. Maybe they will. I don't know. So we got screw here, screw in the back, screw in the side. Nothing there. And there's a no screws in here. Just a regular old springy latch there. Alright, let's see what we can do here. At least tonight, maybe I can... Oh, it's open. Oh, yeah. You could use this... As... I forgot about that. You can use this like a giant discman. I remember that now. Well, this brings me way back. What's this, when's this from? Like, 95? 94. That was close. Yeah, I remember that. You can actually put in a couple of double A's in there. And you can use this as a portable uh, CD player. Kind of big, though. Alright. See if we can pop some screws out. Oh, it's been hard keeping up with these repairs. Wife's got medical issues, so I don't know. Much longer I'm gonna be able to keep doing this. It's just getting harder to harder to get down here. I might have to slow down after these repairs, sadly. Just can't keep up. I mean it's interesting stuff, but I only have so many hours a day. I am working full time, so it's a bit much. appreciate all the business, but every now and then, it's like a little confused, uh, not confused, a little bit, get a little bit overwhelmed every now and then. Let's see. These are the two bottom screws. Let's see where these go. Those are different. Those are long. Let's hold the top and bottom half together. It's interesting. It's black painted steel for the base. Well, that comes right apart. Wow. It's just no resistance at all, really. Yeah, that's a chunk of chunk of steel with brass inserts. Huh. Didn't expect that. Looks like two of the screws are missing when I pulled it out. I wonder why. It is what it is. It's fine to say that when you're talking about video game systems. Not about the situation our country's in right now. So, got two screws back here, and the big ones up here. And we got a little tack of. A little tack of solder sitting up here, and no, 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 nothing there. I'll tell you what, I'm going to throw a static strap on. Just to be careful here. Never taken one of these apart before. situation like this I might have to bring out the big guns Let's see. that's my camera I have not gone mirrorless I'm still doing DSLR is they're still pretty damn good
do a survey of the back of this thing. Heat it up the heating up the solder and iron. Uh, what's under here? Okay, there's a lithium ion battery. That's why you have a good soldering iron. Let me just take that right off. Wow, this is a dense board. Oh boy. So, this is just. Feels like it's tacked underneath in the corner. So, next screw is going to hit. It's going to be. Let these two little guys in the corner. So I use I like using these trays so I can just go you basically they go back in the order you came so you can't uh, so you make sure all your screws go back. Don't want anything left over when you're done. Oh, that's right. I shoot with Canon cameras. I like Canon. This looks like the power board for the AC. Big screwdriver. Four screws. Yeah. Second there, I thought it was for uh, the joystick, but it doesn't look like it. Looks like it's holding it down. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Interesting. Sega actually used a lot of their own custom chips. There's a Sanyo. Here's the Sega branded one here. Oki. Oki, really? I only knew they thought they only needed printers. Let's see. Front, the top lid's gonna need the latch is gonna need a little bit of work too. I can feel that. Does this come off? Oh, no. Little latch there. Is this is a Sega special where you gotta push it back first. I love doing that. Got these two wires here. I wonder if those need to come off first. Oh, conveniently, they're brown and brown. Oh. Bearing or what are they? That's see that comes the whole thing comes apart together that cartridge slot. Yeah, 
that, I gotta do some research to see how to pop this apart properly. Because right now it's feeling almost like this front whole front panel comes off as one piece. But I don't want to force it. Well, tell you what, it's already 1040 at night and I'm tired. Just wanted to pop the soap, see what status it was, pop it open, and uh, start working on it. So I'm going to do a touch more research before trying to pull the part further. I might need to take these two screws out here. I'm not sure if I need to desolder this or not. So don't want to force anything yet. The last thing I do is I want to break this because I know this is certain gentleman's very prized possession i don't want to destroy it accidentally but yeah i'll have to i'll do a little research to see how to pop this up because i don't want to i don't want to damage it yeah well before i do hippocratic earth oath do no harm so that's it for tonight uh short video it's only about 17 minutes right now so um I will dive more into this next time, and hopefully I'll be able to knock out, uh, I'll rewire that Nomad, but I want to dive in this guy a little bit more, um, I'm waiting for a controller anyway, so dive in this more, controller comes in, I'll have that wired up again and uh, knock that out, and luckily after these two, I'm thankfully starting to slow down a little bit on the orders, because I'm getting a little bit hard balancing them all together so everyone thanks for watching and I need to do, go do some homework I thought I'd be able to figure this out without it but I'm a big enough man to admit I am not sure so thanks for watching